Hello and welcome. Today we go to Radio Maisha. Najua watu wengi kile mwana sinyo tukiongea. Manaki wanataka kumsikia. Wanataka kumsikia mami Francis jamani. Asha jaja kwenye mjengo tari. Ha lazima tutengeze pesa bwana. Manaki wanatengeza wala wanataka tusikia mami Francis hapa amekuja kuuza vitu vyake. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. In the house. In the building. Ni TikToker ni content creator, ni makeup artist. Na pia vile vile mbepe ni mwanabiashara. Ni unatangazwa unatoa mjaris. Yes ya mali. Hiyo sasa. Karibu sana mama Francis kwenye studio. Kwa hiyo ni kwa ni simu anaambia mbona umekuwa concentrate sana hapo. Kwamba ni mke wa mtu kwa hiyo kwa ni kazi. I know right. I'm like is that a career? Mbona ni kwa ni kazi. Mama Francis mambo vipi? Oh sana. Karibu. Nashukuru nimeingia na. I am so glad to see you. And I'm so happy to see you. Right? As if tumbo tuna tuna vibrate on the same level. I'm telling you. Energy. Hapa napendeza pia. Nzuri. Nzuri bwana. Baba zimeoshwa wapi jamani? Mungu anaumba ndugu yangu. Baba zimeoshwa wapi? Baba yuko nyumbani unajua ni kipochi na. Watafia nawe kweli. Ama ame mwanza kujua. Eh kama yuko ana unda. Sina si hata nakujua yuko wapi? Ako eni wewe arau. Alafu niwambie mjini mnamkaribishaje mami Francis. Hapa ni Mombasa. Mombasa huko shwari sijui huko kweli Nairobi. Umekusikiaje wewe mwenyewe? Eh? The pressure is getting worse. Wacha. Ah bwana. Nairobi yani watu wanalala na lipstick wanaamka na makope. Asubuhi saa 12 unakutana na mtu amechora makeup full makeup dada. Ah Mombasa yale mambo yako hivyo. Dela matuta yetu tunafanya biashara na zinaingiliana mamilioni ya pesa ndugu yangu. Kwa hivyo mdogo mdogo. Kwa hivyo unasikia pressure kukaa mjijini Nairobi. Wewe mwenyewe umenionaje toka nini? Nakuona wiki baada ya wiki nguo baada ya nguo. Yaani hivi hapa karibu kuisha. Baba ameniambia come down. Come down le wife, come down you is coming very fast. Wala sasa mjengo unaimaliza hiyo. Wewe pesa mjengo unakula? Nairobi lazima twende na train. Oda. Nimeambiwa nitachapwa. Fanya hivi kuja kwenye Facebook live. She is here. Wewe ni TikTok ambao umekubalika sana. Eh na watu you know mna mafans kibawa 1.4 million and kwenye mitandao mingine vile vile pia pale kwenye YouTube. Eh hiyo maarufu imeanza lini? Maarufu mimi nianza TikTok 2021. Uh, Wacha. Eh. Hey. Not in 2020 when everybody was in there. No, mm -hmm. actually nilianza TikTok 2021. Kufungua TikTok yenyewe ile ilikuwa 2020 lakini I was not that mm. too much inside mm. it. Mm. So nikaanza sasa kuwa ile so much ku post after ku post 2021. Na mm. nilingia na biashara yangu ya mkoroko. Ngwapigo. My first ever business. Mm. Ilikuwa nimeingia tu kuuza mafuta yangu, mm. watu wajipaue, mm. hero safi yani mm. tuelewe. After uh -huh. after hapo femi kanifuata. Mm. Sasa mimi mipasho ilianza lini? Unasikia mjini nyota. Halo, yako imekubali? Yangu imekubali. Eh nyota yako ikanikusikiwa sina nyota hapa kama usikupendwa na mchawi mwenzangu. Nina nyota ya pesa na pendwa na ulimwengu. Ifu tu tuniulize kabla ukifanya vile kwenye kwenye mtandao. Ndio. Ushuhudi ulikuwa unafanya shughuli gani before? Kabla niingie kwenye mtandao. Nilikuwa mke nyumbani na pia kwa mtandao nilikuwa ni kile mkoa kiuno. Kwa wale ambao walikuwa na mimi pale Facebook wananielewa wananijua. ええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええ
ujijue ujitambue na yaani wewe mwenyewe na ujasiri wako unajua umeolewa heshima mm. mbaba wako jipatie na wewe pia heshima yako watu na slide lakini kwenye DMs eh watu na slide wana slide uki slide mimi na kupost hapo shori yako uonekane na ah unaotanga unaonika unaonika rosa unaonika rosa bibi yangu Hapo ah. kuna wale ambao wa, wa, wa baba labda wenye hela zao Ndiyo. wanakujaga na labda si diema uh -huh. wale labda wanatafuta paka namba kuna wao kuna wale ambao labda wanakuja paka yani kuna wale ambao pia wanapita vile nje nataka mkorogo mm -hmm. eh. wale, ah, wale naozunguka si wale mkorogo eh. ah, wale wenye pesa klemo wanasemaje si ndio tena nataka kwa hiyo wewe sasa sitakupata kupitia mkorogo wako <laughs> unajua kwa day mimi nitapiga piga mishemisha yangu hivi nitaingiza 1200 huyo baba anakuja ananipatia nini na tayari niko na mume hamna hamna mume nikimwomba 1500 atanipatia muende unataka nini kama si ulafi Halo. Angalia, anaweza mimi Francis ndio mkoko na ali kama huyo. Na uko naambia mmake pia amemwongeza kwenye mtandao pia. Nilimwona YouTube. Nilimwona YouTube. Nilimwambia baba hii hii mali lazima tuitafie sote. Hebu hebu kafungua account yake sasa. Hapo alimfungulia. Mimi nikamfungulia. Sasa hii namjaribu pale ambapo anapoweza sawa kama aezi naambia okay tunakuja tunakuja pole pole. Unasikuwa mimi Francis. Kwa hiyo jamaa mimi taratibu ndio ikul kaza kesho sasa bora umeoga kutaka si yabu kwa mtandao ni maisha tuko na mami Francis ndani ya mjengo tiktoka yule kitu gani kilikusababishia wewe kuuza mkorogo haya sasa mimi kuuza mkorogo mwanzo nilianza kimtani maana nilikuwa nafanya kazi kongoya tunajua kongoya soko kubwa kongoya nilikuwa nauza hizi zinaitwa je nilikuwa na vibanda vya nguo nilikuwa na vibanda vya nguo sasa huko unajua jua likikupiga kidogo unaanza kutani alafu unajua tunapenda urembo so mara ya kwanza yangu kwanza mkorogo ilikuwa kibati mbaya kivipi ilikuwa kibati mbaya ile unaenda kwa ushauri wa rafiki ona rafiki yangu yeye jamani hapa nimepiga uhusi nisaidie yani naweza paka nini ili nikakuwa nikafiti nikafiti yani rangi yangu ikarudi anataka uturungi ha nikapigwa kopo mwenzangu kopo la kishua yani kopo kopo eh rangi iliyokuja nayo ilikuwa gani rangi kaja eh. ikaja wakati wa jiona sura tu mwenzangu yani unajiona sura umetaraga eh. 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 kwa sababu niangalia mwili ah nikija nikijiangalia mwili nimekatika na stretch marks ah. michirizi yani imenikata kata mm. kwa hiyo sasa ukijipa kama mkorogo nguo sisi wanawake si wengi ambao wanataka kwa kiasi kidogo ukiwa uchelewa mm. so unajiangalia tu sura unaona mzamu umeremeta ume mm. eh shingo ile ambayo ilikuwa imepiga uti imenala mm. eh so ile siku ile kujiangalia hivi mzamu uwe <laughs> ukakuta kwamba ni rangi rangi ile ah mambo yamebadilika so ni kapani mm. pale kwa kupani sasa mm. sasa ikari mambo yote mm -hmm. so na panic naenda huku na huku ili nitafute mkorogo yani wakuni safisha wako ni safisha yani uniregesha penye nilikuwa mm. huku kwenda huku na huku mwanzo wangu kidogo kidogo na jiona anakaa ngombe wa green pale zebra cross eh nimepauka nimekuwa <laughs> rangi mweupe hapa hapa mweusi mweupe hapa hapa brown yani hizo mm. kama madoa madoa mm. vipi hivyo yani na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimepani kwa sababu kaja nikapigia baba nikamwambia na lee ndugu yangu huko ulivyo kidudi si ule ambao ulimwacha maana yake alikuwa yes kipindicho hapo alikuwa ni nchi gani alikuwa yuko katari katari lakini mko mshaona tayari hapo tulikuwa wazazi washajiwana lakini mwenyeshe mambo lakini kidogo mami kama amejistiri leo ni Ujue kwa hiyo ujue mimi amesema ujue stara muhimu stara muhimu ah baba amemtuma ah lakini ujue ni radio hiyo watu wa kuoni nje ana kama nionyo wewe sioniona lakini mbona huwa bado huwa bado huwa unafanya lakini kwenye tiktok nani nani audience wa kwanza snow kabla ya hiyo wala yeye anaelewa ask you guys you need to approve this message this yako mimi kwa mwezako lazima labda ushofia ushai rekodi akwambia ah hiyo siende ah ah hiyo hajawahi Mm. lakini mimi mwenyewe pia nampatia heshima yake kama unaelewa mm. mm. eh mm. as much as i'm doing this but a uh, improvement has to come mm. Mm. 
yeah, unaelewa mm. alinitoa kwa mkono wa babangu sasa yeye ndo babangu wa pili mm. unaelewa mm. so lazima appointment itoke kwa mm. baba huyo mm-hmm. baba ile jina mbaba unaanza kumuita lini mbaba ni mbaba maana yake analea ndugu yangu mtu akupata tokeo kwa miaka 20 mpaka sasa yuko 28 kasi mbaba mdaote was he your first love no he was not my first love but, really? but uh, the love i have for him is more than that first love first love ndani <laughs> Unaona sheria pia inaanza pigwa. Unapiga sheria sana mami. Akaikubania sheria mami. We only live once. Maisha ni haya. Kwa hivyo kule mbona sema ulipo mjaji sawa kabisa? La kuchumpa la kupara ma. Unaandaga out sana? Ah, out lazima sheria watu wapige kiango. Haya maneno umeolewa umeolewa ulewa wewe basi kwenda out. kwa whatsapp group ah ah wewe ni watu wasikata nyinyi mnashinda mkikataa dm mnapisha pisha mi baba yenu ngo acha ukisalimia hai sasa group ya nini sasa ilikuwa group ya nini ilikuwa whatsapp group ya matanga haikuwa haikuwa ya matanga hiyo whatsapp group hadi leo iko inajiita exclusive unaona so ilikuwa whatsapp group ya watu watu tu tofauti ile yani ile nakujua acha nikwadi nakujua acha nikwadi sasa iki kierere ambacho mnaniambia mami una kierere kiache si kiache leo wala kesho mm. baba alinipendia hicho hicho kierere mm. maana nilikuwa nawasumbua asubuhi sharusha picha sana nishacheka sijui nishafanya nini wait a minute mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni group ambalo okay were you like childhood friends ama ni group like ya yeah, like yeah like a childhood friend maana oh. mimi kitu ambacho nilikuwa najua nilikuwa namjua huyo mwenye hiyo group ah so ndio alikuwa hapo yeye ndio alikuwa hapo wengi hapo nilikuwa sio mwenye hiyo group alikuwa anaitwa Alfred alisoma Aldina mimi nikisoma Costal sasa wa Costal sio nakwambia ndio maana yake kumbe wako pale barabara tukienda mbeni 2012 hapo nilimwambia hai tulikuwa na dares kama wasichana hebu dm tuone nani ataka kujibu nikasema hai nikalilo blue tick hapo za mwananuma mpaka leo wacha alafu nikamweka huko kwa archive how dare you pick me nikamweka nikamweka kwa archive by the time nakuja ku unblock kumtoa archive hivi nimeona tu hapo amegeuka mchi mkuu hai Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hivyo nakwambia miezi sita huko ndani ya haka hivyo. Hadi learn is lesson. Wacha. Hapo after hapo pia nikam soda out kidogo katika date mara nne. Mara nne. Akipanga hutokelezea hivi. Akipanga mara nyingine anakuja mpaka maliniko alafu nawaambia siku hapo nimechoka. Ulikuwa na nini? Si ali ali bluetooth mtu. Ile tu kubletia kitu basi ndio mwanzako mpeleke mbio zote hizo. Unachezea bluetooth kwa? Bluetooth inauma ndugu yangu. So kwa sasa hivi uh, what do you do? Kwa sababu we see you on TikTok, yes. tunakuona unauza progo yako. Sometimes nakuona una waremba, you know, like brides, unawavisha watu. What exactly do you do, Mami Francis? Haya, tukianzia hapo Mami Francis, nani ni Mami Francis? Mami Francis is the soul of a woman. Mm. I am the soul of a woman. Mm. Mimi ni yule mwanamke atoki ukinipatia shepe, uniambie chimba kaburi nitakupatia shilingi 500 nitachimba. Mm. Na najua maisha yamenichoa wapi. Naelewa. Mm-hmm. So sichagui kazi, sibagui kazi. Mali popote pale ambapo riski inaingilia mimi nitapiki hivi ta try. Mm. 
kuelewa mm. nikianza sana sana mimi nilikuwa make up artist at first but mm. more pain make up artist na Mombasa is a struggle unaelewa mm. mm. so hapo na struggle 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 uh, nikaona end yangu baba kwani alimpeleka nikutane na Nigeria wa bure so wakati ule mkorogo uliniharibu kumwambia mm. baba baba akatafuta solution ah ndio mm. wakati mm. akatafuta solution kulikuwa na Nigeria anafundisha watu kutengeneza mafuta ah, kutengeneza hizi okay. sabuni nini na nini so nika join classes yake okay, okay. Mm. so ilipo yale mafuta yalipo nitaradadisha mimi nikasema basi mm. ndio hii ndio hii kwa hiyo yale mafuta tunatengeneza mwenyewe tunatengeneza mwenyewe so ayo mafuta ile mtu akaomba mimi umerembeka nini na nini nampatia namba mm. ukitaka nitafute mm. nampatia namba ukitaka nitafute na ndio hivyo mkorogo ukashika kesha naye kutangaza biashara biashara yako bidhaa ambazo unauza kama mafuta au unatengenezaje pesa pia pale kwenye mtandao wa TikTok kwenye mtandao watu wengi wanataka kujua haya kwenye mtandao wa TikTok na kwanza kabisa mimi sijakwambia ni kuwa biashara yangu mtandao wa TikTok Mm. Haya madera mabedsheet viatu hivi nilivovaa ma handbag hiyo ndo kazi yangu ya kwanza pale kwenye mtandao wa TikTok. Mm. Haya cha pili ni kupata hizi endorsements. Mm. Unaona za mm. watu wenye wanataka ku advertise na mimi. E, sasa hao ndo wakija tunaelewana hapo ndani ya inbox nikikwambia 90,000 unakuja tunalalamikiana wao niongezee punguzia punguzia haya alafu tunaelewana mm. pesa zinaingia unaelewa. Mm. Ni kwa kwa TikTok tukisali hapo hapo. Unapashaga watu sana. Kwa mfano kuna siku fulani hivi kuna sisi mteja alikuwa amekupigia sijui akakwambia nini ha sisi ndio the ones who suffered mm. the people who follow how the ones who suffered the rather hey kuja karafa alikuja ukateta why do you do that i do that because mm. not most of the in charge not most of the business people mm. say the truth as Mm-hmm. Business people they believe we have had a culture whereby people believe that we the believe clients mm. and most of the time these clients are to bembele sisi maana tuambiwa client is always right yeah. mimi kwangu hiyo client is not is not always right <laughs> ukija na uje naenda na kupenda sana by the way wewe uko na pesa yangu mimi wewe uko na pesa yangu mimi niko na bidhaa yangu so kwa hivyo hapa lazima we have a mutual agreement mm eh usije ukajifanya maana pia bidhaa yangu hataka ndio that's how why does it have the client is always does it have to be the always the client is always naona kubisha na wenga wewe ah sorry ya wao kwa hivyo kile ambacho wao wanaongea pale ni ukweli kabisa My sister, Mommy Francis. Yeah. Kwa siku za hivi karibuni tumekuona kwenye charity ile ambayo mmefanya na Nasra. Kwani mmekutana haja na Nasra mpaka mkafanya you know this big project. Ah uh, it is quite a uh, yani hakuwa na mkutano like oh mm, ndani. Mm. Yeah mimi niliona tu video yake ile ambayo alifanya akiwa wajia ile mm. mara ya kwanza eh. Mm. Nikaona tu hiyo video and I was like mm, I have a million followers. True. I have nothing in my pocket but I I sure I'm rich with followers. Mm. So I'm going to turn my followers into something uh, positive. Na twende tukasaidia Ojia and that is how it happened. Mm. So nikatoka Nairobi nikimwambia baba yangu mimi naenda Nairobi. Nikatoka Mombasa nikaenda kumwambia baba yangu mimi naenda Nairobi kutafuta Nasra. Mm. And pray to God nimpate Nairobi. Nikimkosa Nairobi mimi naenda Ojia kuacha Nasra and that's Luckily enough before mm. the day was here na Nasra can WhatsApp then we called mm. uh we akani call we talked and uh ivo tukaelewana nikaja ngamomba rusa naweza changisha pesa kaniambia go ahead then nikaja nikaingia live yangu nikachangisha pesa labda tu confirmation msikilizaji ilikuwa ni project yeah. ina gani ilikuwa ni project ya kupelekea watu ambao wanakufa na bala njaa uko mm. wajia mm. so kuna kuna places in the east apart from wajia zimekauka yani paka watu hawana cha kukula mm. yani hivi ukiangalia ground inavuka hivi yani moto yani ni kama vile Mm. Ipo yani mm. so imagine in that condition nani anaweza lima chochote yakapata mm. hata maji hakuna so they mm. walikuwa wanakufa njana sikuwa na kitu watoleke kidogo ambacho tuko nacho yani that was right now but eh so good for that eh kazi nzuri sana thank you so much um uh, negativity ya kwenye mtandao kwa sababu sio kitu ambacho especially if you're an internet user um, tena mwanamke tena video lazo zitengeneza i'm so sure unakutana na lot of negativity sana ni kitu ambacho unakabiliana nacho vipi mimi nawapasha 
Sasa unarekodi ama una DM? Nakupasha hivi via ninakutaga hapo ulichosema na mimi nakwambia kile ambacho mimi pia najisikia kusema na wewe. Eh hey. hey, sio ulijisikia kuniambia kitu? Hey. Naye pia kile changu kisikizi. Lakini sasa ubaya changu ni moto anashindwa kukimeza. Kukimiliki. Eh hey, sasa inakuwa mami you are a bully mami nini but yule alianzisha uamuni lakini mimi nikimaliza. What is the worst? Washai kuambia kwenye mtandao. The worst ambao washai ni washai niambia kwenye mtandao ni kuwa mimi ni taa sasa sai. Ya So uh, wanashindwa ameniambia hivyo uh, and uh, kwangu mimi haini gongi vile kwa sababu mimi na yenye mimi na babangu we have mipangilio yetu. Mm. Wewe sasa sio ukajeka kwa mipangilio yetu wewe una maisha yako ishi yako. Mami mimi nina miaka 28 na nimeza nilikutuma uzae mapema. Ah ni swali uliza tena. Mm. Nilikutuma uzae mapema. Bona mimi maisha yangu nataka kunipangia. Unaelewa? <laughs> Riana mwenye kati three side ndo ameza sasa hivi mnatusumbua. Oh, Unajakumbuka Janet Jackson alizana 50. Thank you. Anything is possible. <laughs> What happened to Kongo yako ya Rusi? Excuse you. Sana, nilikwambia, nilikwambia tare. Kongo yako ya Rusi. Kila kitu kimefanyika mko kule nyumbani, mlifanya Rusi nyumbani kwenu. Ndio, traditional way. Yeah. Na kuona pale kwenye YouTube umetengeneza video unasema jamani kwa harusi sina mwenzenu. Na isipofika mimi sifanye harusi. Sasa hicho kipindi changu cha harusi kilikuwa na shamba shamba nyingi sana. I guess watu wa kwetu walikuwa wamekalia kwa rara mambo asiende sawa lakini mwenyezi Mungu ni nani? Mwenyezi Mungu akamwambia huyu ni wangu na kila kitu nitamfanyia njia kiende. So nilishoka Mombasa vizuri. Yes. Kutoka Mombasa kufika airport so nilikuwa na nguo mbili za harusi kufika airport ile ile basi ambayo ilikuwa nimetuma nayo mzigo wa kwenda mm. yani unifati maana mimi nilikuwa naondoka kama friday mm. na mzigo mzigo nilitumwa tuesday Aha. by friday mzigo haujafika jamani alafu sasa uli, unajua shetani ilivomuongo ukipiga kule kuna confusion huyu anakwambia imefika huyu anakwambia bado sijaenda kuangalia yani kulikuwa na confusion na mm. so hii asubuhi nikaamka nikaenda airport mm. Kwa na airport naulizia ngo yangu iko wapi naambiwa ah ngo yako imeshafika imeshafika so ile ngo ya pili ndo hamna hamna napigia mwenye alikuwa amenitumia ngo ananiambia mami ngo iko Mombasa nikapigia na kupata ile ngo ya pili iletwe airport hiyo ngo ya pili kaletwa airport lakini sasa the main nguo of the sherehe kumbe bado imelala Alikuwa anatengeneza ni nyingine. Oh, ah ile ndio imeenda mbele. So imelala kwenye ofisi zao. Kufika saa tisa mchana ndo nakuja naambiwa angalia eh nguo bado iko Mombasa. We. Yaani niliharusi huyo. Nilisikia vibaya sana. Nilisikia vibaya paka huyo, yani Mungu amweke yule mwenye alikuwa amenibeba kutoka Kisumu paka Busia, mm. yule taxi man. Mm. Yaani alinieka tu kwa petrol station akaniambia kumaliza pressure. Maana alikuwa nimemwambia nichukue uniregeshe pale airport na rudi Mombasa. <coughs> Harusi ah. ifanyiki. Harusi ifanyiki. Nguo imebakia. Haya, hapo sasa nilikuwa na deal na emotions nikajiambia mimi mami wewe siku zote umejulikana wewe ni yule ukisema ninatetea. Hivi basi chukua tu simu ukasema ngo yako imebakia na ikafanyika. Mm. Ndio nika pale akilizika nidia afa nimelia we. Eh, ndio sasa akilizika nidia nikafanya video na ngo yangu ikafika the next place. The power of social media. The power of social media. Cuz I saw you at some point we won't go into that. Kuna siku nyingine pia kulikuwa na supermarket flani, yeah, kulikuwa na issue. True, true. Ukatumia ngo yeah. social media social yako. Social media, yeah. Ungependaje kumwambia mwananchi kuhusu na matumizi ya social media? Kwa sababu wewe unatumiaga and it actually works for you. If you have a voice use it if you have a voice use it kama uko hapo nje unabanika na kitu fulani yani unasikia hiki kitu fulani mm. hakiku kuendea wewe sawa mm. use the platform social media post it not once not twice not thrice mm. hii mara kwanza inaweza kuwa mtu hajaiona mm. mara pili i'm sure someone ataiona okay. ama hata mara nne i'm quite sure someone will see Tell those ones ambao hawako follow wako follow wako. Wale ambao ambao mni follow na ito Mami Franci kila mahali. Okay. Mami Franci YouTube, Mami Franci TikTok, uh, Instagram na Facebook. Mami ni ile ya M U W M I E. Hiyo ndo mami ambao utanipata nayo, alafu pia sasa hivi nimeingia Twitter. Niko na follow wako nne. Nani alikuita Mami because your name is the same? Yeah. Ma, uh, mami anaitwa Francisca. Francisca Mamu Mbai. Those are my oh. real names. Mamu. Yeah. Unapenda rumba. Dije mpigie rumba ya mwisho jamani. <laughs> Una Vera cheza hiyo mamu. Cheza hiyo mamu. <laughs> Nikuuliza nani alikufurisha mambo ya rumba? Ah, uh, okay. Growing up I loved music. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rumba mi radio maisha menifurisha rumba. Leo mtu akiniuliza umefurishwa yani rumba. Radio maisha. Mimi kwa sijui hizo vitu. Eh? Growing up my dad alikuwa anapenda rumba sana mpaka shukrani na zile Santuri. Uh, and the music used to make me happy because my childhood was not that good. Uh, Unaelewa so ile kusikiza kilingala and cramming songs mpaka sasa hii naweza iba lyrics after lyrics is just a talent I picked up while Kilingala pia unakijua. Eh huwa naona ni kama unakielewa. Kiasi sana. Tuambie radio unapenda radio maisha. Napenda radio maisha. Kilingala na. Bakongo bakongo. Mama mo konzi. Makombo sali. Bakongo bakongo. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.